What's up, head brewer, Sean, what's yep. your last name? Lil. Sean Lil. Lil. Yeah. Lil Sean. Yeah. Lil yeah. Lil Sean. I'm here with Sean Lil, the head brewer at Broken Clock Brewing. We're going to talk a little bit about the Abracadabra Kolsch, which I'm really geeked up about, dude. This is like yeah. dream come true. Um, so tell us a little bit about the Abracadabra Kolsch. Uh, the Abercadabra Kolsch came about, so and you wanted a beer, you asked for a beer, and you really gave us free reign over, you just yeah, said, like, What's you just said make sure it sells, yeah. And I thought, June 1st, why not do a Kolsch, like, it's nice and warm, a Kolsch is a nice light lager, but it has some, like, some floral notes with the, uh, with the late Whirlpool hop edition, so it's something that is easily drinkable um, on a hot summer day, but mm. crafty enough. For a craft drinker to not yeah. to not turn their nose at, you know what I mean? For it's sure. not it's not like a. That's yeah, tasty. Yeah. Yep. So um, I just thought it fit the season really well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cold season all year for me, but a lot of people really like them in the spring and the for summer. Sure. So yeah. So so right like in the background, we got some moving parts. Do you do you want to kind of talk a little bit about the process that you go through? Maybe some of like your regular brewing process, sure, the type yeah. of beverages you're putting together. Yeah, so we do uh, beer and THC here. But yeah, so the typical process is is we've got the kettles up there. You see the brew deck there with the kettles. Um, so the typical day is... Walk over there. Sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so with the Kolsch, um, everything with brewing is time and temperature. And with mm-hmm. the Kolsch, we wanted to be a little bit lighter. Um, not quite as the big, thick mouth feel that yeah. you get in a lot of the craft beer, the IPAs and things like that. So we did a little bit cooler mash temperature. What that does, it just turns the starches into sugars. Um, a little bit cooler is gonna dry it all a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's not gonna have that full body. It's gonna be a little drier beer, which is fine because that's it complements the floral notes really well. Uh, so we do that and then we take the sugar water uh, and we put it in the boil kettle. Uh, we use um, a lot of German malts. So I like to do a 90 minute boil on those just to get a lot of the compounds that you don't want in your beer, boil off, Mm -hmm. evaporated, um, pushed out. So a typical boil is like 60 minutes. Uh, With some of those German malts, some of the overseas malts, I like to do 90 minutes um, just to make sure that everything's pushed through. It's a nice and clean, because a a beer like this, you can't hide flaws in. Yeah. So you want it to be super clean. Pretty transparent, there's no flaws, this is flawless. Straight magic, baby. so then after after the boil, and that's where we'll add the hops and get that, that nice aroma at the end. Um, then after the boil, we'll let it sit in the fermenter for so usually about two weeks. So how, like, how big are these fermenters? These fermenters are 15 barrels. So this is a 15 barrel system, so I can do 15 barrels at a time. Uh, and I've got one 30 barrel fermenter. So you did two batches And one 30 much. barrel bright if we need to, yeah. So. 15 barrels how yep. many like so that's 465 gallons which is that is a lot of math there's there's eight pints in a gallon eight pints in a gallon times 465 so so 320 uh so 3500 pints something like that oh yeah shout out <laughs> to that that's awesome something so like 3, that 3500 pints my like, math I, could be it, off it, Give or take. We'll, we'll give you a little bit of flexibility right. Flexibility here. So how many brews are you doing like a, a week or a month? So we do typically about two a week here. Two a week. Um, I have the capability to do five every two weeks. So we can, we can ramp it up when we want. Then. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, so uh, the whole process though from beginning to end, we're talking like... It depends on the beer. Kolsch, I did six weeks. Like a month and a half. Such a long time. So much patience. Yeah. And, and then what about like the THC stuff? Is that pretty much like we THC, make it? THC, I make it, it and it's done the next day. Oh, that's yeah. a revenue driver then <laughs> yeah. for me. So are we going to start firing up some coal here pretty soon? Pretty soon, yep. They're just cleaning the lines, like I said, between the THC and the beer. So they're getting it. Okay, they're doing some science over here. Yeah. There's science going it's all, on. It's all science. It's an iron heart. Canning.
gets out of the way. Yep. They're cleaning it, sanitizing it. Yep. Doing some science. They switch the labels out. If you got a shot of your labels there. Pretty sick labels. Yeah, it's really, really good labels. I like those a lot. Uh, so switch those out. We got everything ready. We've got a spot for it in the cooler. So, um, so it comes down, Tate's, Tate's like the first QA person and the next person. Uh, what he'll do is he'll check, check label height, make sure there's no wrinkles, you know, make sure everything is good. Um, he'll get the case, he'll slide it over. I'll put these on and then I will, I usually just stack seven on there just so I'm not opening that door. Mm-hmm. What do so we got much. over here? So that's where they'll go. This is our walk in cooler. Nice. This is freaking huge. So these taps yeah. go straight to the, the tap room? Those are the lines that hooked straight into the tap, yep. Nice. So we got uh, holy taps. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, there's numbers on them, so I don't have to count them yeah. all. It goes up to 20. That's pretty awesome. What's like, what's like the beer that people come here for? Is there like a staple that you have that's like you're well known for? Yeah, so Red Coats is the one that's always been our flagship. We so, can that all the time. That and Down by the River are two canning ones, our two flagships. Uh, one of the more popular ones recently has been Lil Haze. It's mm-hmm. a lower alcohol hazy. So a, a lot of hazies are up in the six and a half, seven percent. Yeah. And which is fine for a lot of people at home, but a lot of people don't like to go out and drink multiple of those and then drive home. So that's it. So we put a 5.2% real nice light hazy out there uh, so people can have a couple, you know, stick around, hang out. Yeah, make it home. Yeah.